Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Wealth Unlimited. Today I bring you a new series on our channel which is basically based on IPO's review and the first company which we are going to talk today is Sirma SGS Technologies. I will be giving you the full review of the company. We will be discussing about the grey market premium and the financials of the Sirma IPO. Further, I will be giving you my views and whether I am applying in this particular company IPO or not. The opening date for the IPO is August 12, 2022, which is basically tomorrow. And before starting the video, if you are new to this channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. So let's begin. So Sirma SGS Technologies was incorporated in 2004 in Chennai and the major things which they do is engineering and design. Further, they are into, uh, into electronics manufacturing services and they have very large players and good footprints on global market as well. Now, we will be looking like what this particular company is doing and how much market share they cater to. They have more than 19, they have their presence in more than 19 plus countries. And I should tell you that they are one of the leaders in the electronic manufacturing services in India. I will be telling you about the IPO size and uh, there is this site called Chittorgarh, which is very good uh, for uh, analyzing the IPOs. And this is one particular site which I go often when I have to uh, analyze a particular IPO. So this is the company and you can see that uh, their product portfolio that they are into printed circuit board assemblies. They are basically into motherboards. They are into memory products as you can see here and they have been expanding their market share a lot in electromagnet, uh, electromagnetic and electromechanical parts. They have 11 manufacturing facility, uh, facilities in North India and South India as well. So we will be looking into the company financials and uh, you can see that uh, they have given the financials for the three years of 31 March 2019 to 31 March 2021 where you can see that they are able to increase the total assets owned by the company. So which is a good sign for a company and uh, the total re revenue significantly you can see that increased uh, in comparison to March 2019 to 2021. So the financials on the basis of their assets and revenue looks sound but there has been a dip in terms of profit after tax if you will see that the company was doing good till March 2020 but after March 2020 once the COVID hit the company was not able to make good profits or not able to took the opportunity which COVID provided for the tech companies basically. Uh, the company fundamental looks sound and if we go and see the what is the object of the issue why the company is taking out the IPO you can see that the company wants to meet their capital expenditure requirements for development of on of an R&D facility uh, facility, which is good. Yes. Now, why this is good is because the company is planning to expand their business and uh, they are planning about the future growth. The second point, uh, which is the object of the company to raise uh, to give IPO is of funding long term working capital requirements which is again a good sign that they are thinking about their long term uh, working capitals and the future growth. And the last is journal corporate pur purposes, which is uh, fine. Basically, administrative work, uh, you can take it like that. Now you can see that uh, uh, the IPO details and it is going to launch tomorrow on August 12th and uh, it will close on August 18. So you can apply in this particular IPO till August 18 and the face value of the IPO is rupees 10 per share. The price band of the IPO is 209 to 220. Basically, which means that uh, you can either buy it at a price of 209 or in between till 220 rupees. People who are new, uh, I must tell you that if you want to make sure that you get a particular IPO, you should always apply IPO on a upper brand, upper band price, which is basically of 220 rupees in Sirma IPO case. The one lot of uh, Sirma IPO 
is of 68 shares, uh, which will be totally a total of uh, 14,960 rupees. Yes, if you want to apply in this particular IPO, then you should have at least 15,000 rupees handy because uh, the size of one lot is for uh, 68 shares and the amount is 14,960 rupees. Now, it's not a very big uh, IPO. As you can see that the issue size is only 840 crore rupees. And the fresh issue which is coming out is 766 crore. It is a positive sign here is that the most of the promoters are not planning to sell their stake in the company. And the offer for sale is, offer for sale is very limited as you can see here. The company is going to list on both NSC and BSC uh, stock exchange and uh, yes the retail share like uh, the general public share for this particular company is 35% of 840 crore rupees. So again it's a not uh, it's not a huge IPO and uh, the IPO market is back again live after two months of gap I guess and uh, there are chances that people might go for this particular company. Uh, if you believe that uh, they have a future uh, in electro uh, electronic system in the electronic manufacturing system then again you can think about it you can think about planning to invest in this particular company what are the key strengths uh, which i found in sirma hcs uh, basically if i have to give you the overview that why one can think that this company be a good is they have they believe in competitive uh, competitiveness and uh, they are majorly pursuing the inorganic growth for their uh, for their company. So uh, the major factor they are focusing on is to expanding customer base and reach. Further, they want to increase and cater to more end user industries. So they are not only planning to do what they are doing in these 19 countries so far, but they are also planning to expand globally as well they have their R&D sector uh, R&D setup in Germany as well and as you can see this is make in India company now uh, we uh, now talking about the gray market premium for this particular company as you can see uh, this is another website called ipowatch.in which again gives you or helps you analyze the IPOs and you can see here that uh, the great market premium is not mentioned here as of now but I have read and I have seen the sources the gray market premium for the particular company right now is of 10 rupees well uh, again uh, 10 rupees is not a huge percentage uh, or it's not a good gray market premium when you talk about company like uh, Sirma SGS because uh, their peer group you, if you will see is Dixon Technologies and Amber Enterprises who are again like one of the most promising sectors when it comes to manufacturing in uh, one, of, one of the most promising companies when it comes to manufacturing companies in India. Again Dixon Technology is one company who are into who are into mobile manufacturers assemblies and everything and ember enterprises are into ac's consumer du uh, consumer durables basically so there is a potential that uh, the demand after the after inflation comes down there are chances that uh, this particular sector of consumer durables can go back again up and uh, can take or like can see a huge momentum from the current levels so now basically talk about whether I am going to invest in this particular IPO or not. Well, uh, seeing the company financials, which are almost stable, there has not been a huge growth uh, as of now. And uh, seeing the gray market premium uh, at present of 10 rupees is not very something lucrative uh, where I should uh, or I will be uh, applying for this particular IPO. So my answer will be no, I will be avoiding this IPO. And uh, if you are someone who is interested in uh, manufacturing companies and see that uh, manufacturing companies has a huge growth potential because a lot of PLI schemes are coming uh, for favoring make in India manufacturing companies. 
so that is the one huge factor which plays in the benefit of this particular company uh, i will be interested in this particular company to invest uh, once it is stable or like once it is listed on the stock exchanges i will definitely keep an eye on this particular stock and its momentum so that's it for today i hope i was able to give you a good review of the ipo and uh, whether i'm going to invest in this particular ipo or this particular company or not so if it was helpful and if you like the video please make sure to like and subscribe thank you